What's up, everybody? It's your favorite alligator's favorite nerd. Today we are looking at Fans Project Skull Cruncher, or whatever his name is, Function X Alligator Man. He, oh boy, um, he's not my favorite. Now, let's take a look at this accessory first. Um, it's like an alligator tail turned sword. Uh, folds out like a pocket knife. <laughs> it actually looks a, a fair bit like a pocket knife. Uh, this folds down to the alligator tail, wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle. Uh, yeah, that's that. He does hold it, takes a little bit of effort to get into his hand because it's a tight grip. Speaking of his hands, I think it's weird to see 5mm pegs now. Like, I was like, what? Like, when I saw this, I was like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Number of issues going on here. We're going to talk about them. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the head, of course, is a uh, accessory as well. I haven't messed with this, but let's see if we can't figure it out. How difficult can it be, right? That, that looks like that flips open. We got gold in there. A little grimace face. He's a sad, sad. Um, legs come down. Oh, it looks like this is one of those sliding ones. So that, that rotates out. That covers the face, which is cool. And then we have this this little fella inside there. And he's got some red paint on him. His arms are on a swivel. Nothing for the head, but the eyes are painted and the face plays painted well. Uh, hips are on swivels. And we got a single pinned hinge knee and whatever. The uh, These look cool. They're a cool little, little design. And the red paint shows up well, both on the eyes and on the chest. So fair enough. Let me get him back into head mode and we'll, we'll take a look at articulation. Okay, and with the power of movie magic, it's all back together quick as quick as quick as a snap. Uh, the head is on a swivel here, and then it pivots up just like all of the other ones before it. Um, so that's okay. Um, no improvements over the past two years, so I guess I could hark on that. But you know, still not bad. Still it's pretty cool to look down. So whatever, whatevs. It's fine. Uh, shoulders hinge out here and then they're on a ball joint and the ball joint gets you a fairly good articulation uh, but it's a ball joint uh, so it hinges out here so you get a fair fair I mean a great range you know in all fairness uh, out to the side is is not gonna work because of the, the design but outside of that it's okay this uh, faux crock face actually no it's not is it but this uh, translucent piece here um, it's it's there it's it's okay you can see the pink underneath gold paint and black paint is done really sharp on both sides there so that's nice uh, white paint gold paint there on the same uh, shoulder assembly and then we have a bicep swivel which is okay if, if it gets a little I feel like there's a little plastic rub um, right there do you see it Point to a dark mall right in there. Um, so that's just a fit and finish kind of a thing. Mine also seems a little dusty. Elbow, single pin, or a single hinge rather, but it gets you 90 degrees, maybe a little bit past, no problem. And nothing for the wrist. Uh, gold paint here on the elbow, and the white paint looks sharp as a tack. Well done. Oh, you get a wrist swivel. So there's that. I, I, so, so it's not okay. It's a forearm swivel that they use to, to as a as a wrist swivel. I get it. I got you now. Fair enough. And same on the other side. You get you don't really get a waist swivel unless you turn this up and move it out to the side. But then he's always kind of like in a separate. What? Who, who tapped me on this? Somebody did this trick. Tapped them there, but it was standing over here. You know. I don't know. But you can do that. Uh, T jointed ball joints for hips. On a seventy dollar figure. Mm -mm -mm. Thigh swivel. 
not a lick of paint on the thighs, I might add. And then we get down into the knee area. The knees are on a double double jointed knee that gets you a little bit past 90 degrees. All that sculpt wise looks good. The paint on the silver looks good. It's two pieces of plastic, but the green on this piece is painted and it matches really well. So cheers to them for that. Okay, I had to make one edit here. I'm sorry. I um I have a my my feet we'll talk about them. They have a, a backward tilt that doesn't really help you much. They have no forward tilt, which is what you really need. And at first I thought they didn't have a rocker, but it's only because where it rocks is up in the calf, or the shin rather, and mine are really tight. But uh, they are there, but it's still, is, it's a very small, it's a, it, it doesn't... It doesn't 100% help because this piece here always sits, like stops it from sitting flush. So it's a little bit of a rocker, but it's not really, it's not really effective and it doesn't really to, to get what you need out of it. Um, but shout out to Jay Ruse and to, uh, and to Andrew uh, for, for kind of letting me know that those pieces move because mine were really tight, but I've got them going now. But they still, they, they, they still don't work much. Like you see, like even here, like with his, with his legs out to the side, um, the feet aren't sitting flat. Do you know what I mean? And 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 that's that's ridiculous. That's something that Fans Project has kind of always done. And they 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 didn't really pull off effectively here. Take the head off. Take the uh, weapons off. Whatever. And also, it has these missile things, um, which I don't even know. Like if you could fire the top one, I think it might hit his own. Whatever. If you like it, it's there. Um, I could care less. All right. So we'll open this up here. Unflip this alligator head. And then uh, the shoulders, which are really the only... <clears throat> I don't know if challenging is the right word, but you just... you got to line them up kind of up in there. And bring these down. So that the, uh, the white bits form like a stripe. And you just kind of got to get good and close enough, really. Because... Uh, And you got to tab them in. All right. Fold the hands in, which brings the gator <laughs> gator feet out. Same on the other side. One of mine is really stuck. Gator foot popped off the ball joint. This one's really stiff on mine. I might need to loosen that screw a taste. Um, and... There we go. Gator mode. Doing it. You can close this up now. Uh, and then the feet. Bring this bit out here. And these are the other gator legs. Fold in one of these. I don't think it matters which one. And then <clears throat> fold the pink pieces out, so to speak. Fold one of the green ones in. Turn it 90 degrees and collapse it. And this forms the back side of the, the alligator. And then you just kind of got to line it up and clip it together. And I don't think it matters which side here you use. I don't. I don't. I don't recall. Looks fine to me. And then rotate your gator legs, bring them down, other gator legs, bring them down. And there you have him. Get this piece ready here, <clears throat> take this, close the back two pieces together, and then put this in. And I don't know, that's basically it. It might be a better way to do that. There. And then you get the wiggle waggle. Um, yeesh. This thing, buddy. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, I, I think I need a minute to, to think about this one. Okay, so I guess we kind of have to talk about it. Uh, no real, we got the tilt down for the head. Um, 
and then you got this that opens and closes. The teeth are painted nice, the eyes are painted nice, all that stuff looks fairly good. Uh, and then you got these, the tongue rotating spiky things in there, and that's that's cool. Um, the arms, you pretty much just get this elbow, and that's not like this thing doesn't really stick together well. You pretty much just get this elbow, and then you get this little bit of swivel there, and then this little foot down here is on a ball joint, so that gives you what that gets you. Same on the other side. Back, oh, you get a little, a little bit of wiggle in here, like, but not, not really. Back here, this is on a swivel here, and then this is on a hinge back here. So, and it's not tolerance well either. And then this tail gets you the wiggle, and I guess you could deploy the blade if you'd like. And that's that's that. It's just I don't know. MP car. Bottom shell. Still got him hanging around. <clears throat> Not the best. And gimmick wise, I, you know, I don't know. I think in the original, I used to have the original and um I don't have him anymore. I think I think you used to be able to put him in the mouth. I think that was how you transport them. I can't remember. If you if you have the original or if you know about it, let me know and see if I can't remember that. But uh, these pieces open up here, and then you transform into bot mode and stick them in there and close this up. <laughs> it's, it's good enough. Size comparison-wise, there he is with the other two headmasters, and he's my least favorite of these three. Easily. Uh, good, better, worse. Final thoughts wise, this is not good. And I'm gonna be pretty brutal about it. I feel like I've kinda of gotten soft on you guys a little bit, so we're gonna we're gonna square that away. This is the most dynamic pose I could really get him in that looked legit, which is more or less just him having a little walk. Maybe he's walking to get get something from the store or something. Like that's 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 kind of where this guy is at. Okay, so it does feel outdated. My buddy Robert said that, fellow SCU guy, he said that it does feel outdated. But it's not just that. There's some things that the fans project has always kind of done or they didn't do here. And for this to have taken so long to have come out, I mean, prototypes were, of this were around two years ago. It's just, it's not there. It's not there. Not for the price point, not at all. It's lack of paint. Where the paint is applied, it's applied, it's applied really well. And it looks great on the back. It looks great on the upper body. But the lower body looks very plain to me. I didn't even mention this stuff. This looks good. He does clean up well, and that's that's to his credit. But it's just it's it's just not up to par. There's a chance I'm going to say this, and I, I this is without seeing the other one. Um, but there's a chance that the Hasbro one could very well blow this thing out of the water. And how crazy would that be to blow this thing out of the water? I'm telling you right now, don't buy this. Wait for the Hasbro one or the Takara one and see how that one feels, see how that one plays out. Because I don't like this. And I've messed with the Toy World one, and I don't like that one either. So third party just can't get their head around this character for whatever reason. And we may have to wait for somebody else to do it. Because it's just this... I. I Straight up, I just canceled the highbrow pre-order I had uh, because I dislike this so much. It just feels plain. It just feels bland. It feels like a, a slice of bland pizza. You can eat it. You know, you might even eat two or three slices of it before you realize what you're doing. Like, oh, I shouldn't be eating this. It's terrible for me. Plus, it's not good. I've had better pizza. And it, I've had better pizza at Chuck E. Cheese. So it might be one of those situations. It's just you tolerate it because it's fans project. But fans project, I'm in for their Dinobots. I'm going to see that thing through to the end. You finish what you start kind of thing. But they need to wake up. It's not that it's poorly made or anything. It's just that like the materials and all that stuff are fine. The, the, the paint where it's applied is good. It's just that where... It's, it, it's just... It's not right. It's like it's not right for the price. Like it doesn't strike you feature wise, and it's just weird. It's it's awkward. It's I, I don't recommend you get this fellow. It's just bizarre, and it it doesn't really fit anything. This was a a poor choice on my. It's like I, it's like I ask my kids sometimes. Like, Are you making good decisions? <laughs> like I don't feel like I made good choices on this unit. I feel like I made a really bad choice. I have buyer's remorse right now. 
I do. I mean, I'll sit them on a shelf with the other two headmasters. They'll be fine. I won't. I won't think too much about it. But I'm. I'm done. I'm done with fans' project, with the exception of the Dinobots, unless they wow me with something new. Maybe I'll get their. Uh, listen to me. I'm like an addict. What's wrong with me? Maybe I'll get their Monstructor if they put it out in Monstructor colors. I'm not in for the Dino King. But yeah, overall, I'm. I'm just. I'm, uh, they need to step it up or step away. I don't even want to do a close-up shot. To talk about the positives. I think I've. I think I've wrapped this one up well enough, wouldn't you? Don't get it. Other than that, it's fine, I guess. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.